Hello everyone, this is Benz here. I'm going to be breaking down the new tier 10 Russian tank destroyer, the Object 268 version 4. Uh, now this currently hasn't come out because of the 9.22 test server, but it looks like its armor stats are now finalized. There shouldn't be any changes between now and the live server, but getting ready for this thing, it has a ton of armor on the front of it. The sides are surprisingly pretty decent as well, but the rear is pretty weak. But the frontal armor, and specifically, um, looking here, it says 260 millimeters for the listed values for the hull. Eh, you're going to want to rethink that. This tank is going to have one of the best frontal armor schemes at tier 10. Pulling up um, my overlay here, which at the end of this video and in the video description, there's a full write-up um, for the weak spot guide here for the Object 268 version 4 over on my website, wakuru.com, if you want uh, still images uh, for this instead of you know watching the video here. Now, looking at, you know, we're gonna start at the hole here. You'll notice that, you know, using the green, yellow, orange, and red uh, color scheme I have here, there's no green areas. So every area at the very minimal is gonna be 200 millimeters effective. However, the weakest on the front is actually 237 millimeters effective. Um, the yellow 200 areas are going to be on the side. But frontally, starting at the bottom, working our way up, you have a very small uh, strip of the lower glacis here. It's 100 millimeters thick at 65 degrees, giving it 237 millimeters effective armor. So AP shells and APCR, it'll be a little bit less than that given normalization. And then heat will have to uh, punch through that. But that's the actual weakest area on this tank frontally. That very small angled bit on the bottom and it's actually really hard to hit this area, especially if you're getting close. And if you do get close to the Object 268 version 4, you'll actually ricochet off of it uh, with AP and APCR given that the angle will be above uh, 70 degrees. Moving a little bit further up, uh, we have what I'm going to call the front hole plate here. That's 300 millimeters thick, so that 260 listed value for the front hole armor, it's kind of misleading. Um, that's 300 millimeters at 30 degrees, giving it 346 millimeters effective armor. You're not going to punch through this unless you have a really high penetrating heat round or you're a tier 10 tank destroyer, and even then, you still need some premium rounds. The upper glacis um, is 100 millimeters at 73 degrees, so you're going to ricochet off of that unless you're up close shooting down into it. Um, you know, pretty much just stay away from that because you're going to ricochet unless you're shooting heat at it, or you know you're up close and you're shooting down, and thus negating the auto bounce angle. Now, moving on the left and right here. Um, before we get any further, uh, this top area uh, I'm calling the upper cheek. It is pretty strong, 334 millimeters effective, even though it's only 100 millimeters thick. So can't really shoot there. The bottom cheek here, uh, this angled bit, is also even stronger, 573 millimeters effective, and then 331 for the inner cheek. So there's no weak spots on the hull. There's only that really small lower glacis plate, if you can consider that a weak spot, but if you're in a tier 8 tank, tier 9 tank, or if you're not throwing premium, you know, you're going to bounce off of that a lot, especially if you're close and, you know, you're going to miss too because it is, it's pretty tiny. Moving up to the superstructure, uh, that's the actual 260 millimeter uh, thick spot, basically the turret front, if you want to call it that. That's 339 millimeters effective, so pretty much that's a no-go unless you're throwing premium rounds at it, um, or in a tier 10 TD you get a high roll in your standard round. Right around the gun, uh, that's still pretty strong. Um, basically, it sits around uh, 300 millimeters effective, so good luck penetrating that, and that's a really small area, but the mantlet is pretty much immune otherwise if you're shooting straight on here and the kind of angled sections on the superstructure are immune from the front as well. The only real weak spots you have outside of the lower glacis come to the very small cupolas here. We have a commander's cupola, that's what's on the left, loader's cupola, that's on the right. I'm fairly sure it's the loader, so that's what I went with. Starting with the small loader's cupola, the center of it, 250 to 259 effective armor. 
and then the edges 280 to over 320 so pretty much hit the center and you'll be all right but again you need a minimum 250 millimeters of pen to actually uh, punch through it so it's really tough even for like standard rounds from tier 10 like lights mediums heavies you're going to bounce a good amount of the time and if you're close you're actually going to be shooting a little bit up at it so it will be a little tougher to hit the much larger cupola here uh, take note that there's small space armor bits uh, kind of the wings like the amx 50 uh, fosh 155 um, those cupolas you can't penetrate these areas and cause damage because it's just space armor so you have to hit the center mass here and that's 252 through 285 millimeters and then the edges are you know they're kind of all over the place too but let me uh, zoom in here if i can pull this off and basically uh, i'm referring to you don't want to shoot these little wings that hang over you want to hit the center mass particularly right in this area that's the weakest uh, area here if you hit lower you're going to be hitting you know around the 270 260 effective armor and if you hit high up it also gets a little bit tougher there as well but basically it gets aimed towards this center part but more or less uh, from the front it's a pretty strong tank it's probably one of the best frontal schemes especially when it comes to tank destroyers at tier 10 and you know comparing it to other tanks it really doesn't have any weak spots and even the weak spots it has are very tiny and this tank is fairly mobile so actually hitting it um, in the cupola where you want to or the lower plate is going to be very difficult so coming across you know this frontally if you're in a tier 8 a tier 9 you just might want to run away <laughs> unless you can penetrate it with premium rounds um, you know it's definitely going to be a tough nut to crack uh, you can kind of throw he if you shoot down into the engine deck or if you hit it kind of near the roof that's your best bet but it's still going to be pretty difficult to uh, penetrate moving on to the side here to swing this over and get this uh, lined up the best i can here the side armor it's not as good as the front uh thank god because the front is one of the uh, best frontal views I've seen in a while in a tank but then again they are adding a ton of armor into the game nowadays but the side it's still uh, pretty tough uh, so even though it looks weak with it just being green and yellow for the most part you have to remember that yellow is still a minimum 200 millimeters effective so if you're in a tier 8 tank um, or if you're in like a light tank um, tier 9 that isn't fully maxed out you can still bounce on a good amount of the side armor here just keep that in mind one thing of note is basically if you're firing at the lower track wheels most of the view uh, specifically you know from this view you're not going to cause any HP damage you have to hit just above them that's where the hole ends but your best bet to penetrate the side is hitting the back of the superstructure here the middle and the rear sit at 65 millimeters and 105 millimeters effective from the side if you get to the front side superstructure that's 258 millimeters effective and then this little uh, side of the gun area is about 250 i believe um, if not 240. the upper side hole um, here that angle bit that you kind of saw from the, the front uh, here turns into a flat area from the side and that's 149 millimeters effective so you can easily penetrate that with the tier 8. aiming further down though uh, much like some other high tier Russian tanks this looks flat however it's 30 millimeters of space armor basically once you get below um, I'll zoom in it's a little easier to see without my overlay over it but basically it looks flat 30 millimeters however behind that the hole is angled inwards um, it's 80 millimeters stick at 62 degrees so it won't auto bounce you but it does make it 200 millimeters through 215 millimeters effective and then just beneath that but don't shoot too low you have 80 millimeters so it is weak if you know where to hit it but do be careful if you're in a tier 8 or a tier 9 because you still can get a little unlucky especially if you're shooting heat at the sides I wouldn't shoot heat at this at all because this is all spaced armor um, you can definitely get unlucky if you don't know where to shoot specifically but looking a little bit closer at the tank basically the spaced armor 
if you're following this line here, it kind of goes down a little bit, but the space armor runs right beneath uh, this crease where you start seeing there's little hatches here. That's the space armor. Um, and then from here back, it drops down a little bit. And more or less, it does end up here. It doesn't actually include this, but um, just basically shoot above the little hatches you see or shoot just beneath this, but not too far uh, beneath it. And then finally, uh, getting to the rear of the Object 268, line this up. Um, it's fairly weak from the back. Oops, I actually broke it. There we go. Good enough. Um, it's fairly weak from the back, however, don't hit the rear roof. It's 55 millimeter thick, so most things can't overmatch it. So even though it's only 161 um, millimeters of effective armor, you're going to ricochet off with AP, APCR, heat. Can still go through it unless you're you know for whatever reason very close shooting at it but otherwise just shoot the back of the tank it's really weak um, even the back of the cupola is weak and these angled bits are too so basically just don't shoot the rear roof in the grand scheme of things though you know the object 268 uh, version 4 is one of the better uh armored tanks in the game especially frontally it's just it's kind of silly in a way because frontally you have the weakest area which it looks bigger um you know kind of looking at this view this angled part is 237 millimeters effective on level ground but if you're basically you know say somewhat in a larger or taller tank than it and this thing's coming at you and that's the area you're aiming at good luck because you might hit over 300 millimeters effective up here or you just might miss so you're stuck with very small weak spots on this and if this does angle, uh, you're kind of left with penetrating the cupolas. This does become much stronger, but you are able to uh, penetrate these sides since they're not that thick. Uh, just to keep in mind, there is that space armor running alongside here, but you can hit above and beneath it and go through uh, that way. But, you know, more or less frontally, these things aren't going to have to angle that much. And if you're in a lower tier tank, God help you, try to run away, but granted, the mobility on this thing um, is fairly fast, 55 kilometers an hour for top speed, and a pretty good specific power. So hopefully this uh, little video helped you out. Again, once I cut out here, there's a link to the full uh, weak spot guide for this, uh, written up with images. It will help you out a little bit more with uh, specific areas, but nonetheless, hopefully, you know, coming across the Object 268 version 4 here, You'll know whether or not you can penetrate it or whether or not you should just run away or, you know, at best flank this thing since it doesn't have a turret. But nonetheless, thanks again uh, for watching the video. Have a very nice day. See you around.